Hello and welcome to our Tuesday Facebook Live. My name is Ann Granger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the beautiful town of Dorchester, Ontario, Canada. And I am excited to be with you. Usually I don't go live on a Tuesday morning. My lives are usually Mondays and Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. But due to some um, commitments tomorrow night, I was not able to go live. So instead of missing my week with you, I thought I would come live on a Tuesday morning. So if you are watching live today, you are going to see the red live button up in the corner. And it is Tuesday, August 13th. I cannot even believe we're in the middle of August. Like, where the heck did the two first weeks go? I'm like, my last two weeks of summer are just going to fly by. I cannot believe that. We are soon going to be back into that routine of work. and uh, But I'm excited for fall. I'm excited for fall things and everything that has to do with it. But... We still have two weeks left of summer, which means we need to cram in as much as we can to make it the best summer ever. And I'm super excited to be sharing my cards to go with you today. So each week, if you haven't followed me, maybe you're finding me for the first time, I go live Mondays and Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Monday nights, I bring you a scrapbook page, and Wednesdays, I bring you a card class to go. Those are designed around the product of the week. I pick a product, I create those projects, and then I share them with you. This is my happy place, aka where I spend a lot of my time. This is my stamp room. I am in here a lot. I love coming in here and creating. I put on music. I get out my stamps, my paper, my ink, and I just love creating. And I love sharing with you guys. But the most important thing for me is it's an escape from reality. I love coming in here and turning off my phone and just like escaping everyday life, it brings you, it's so soothing, it's relaxing, it's really my calming mechanism and I apps, it truly is my happy place. And I hope that by sharing my videos with you, that you will find your happy place in this crafting journey. I truly believe that everyone has to have a passion and everybody has to have something that they love doing, whether it's maybe exercising or walking or whatever that is that you love to do. And mine happens to be stamping. So as I said, I usually go live on Wednesday nights, but I'm popping in on a Tuesday morning so that I can do this Facebook Live with you. I did not want to miss out my week with you. Um, I have a fun week planned, um, and that is why I couldn't do tomorrow night because I'm just so busy. But I have lots to share with you today. So the product of the week that I'm showcasing today is called the Bistro Burger bundle. This burger bundle is actually in our annual catalog and it was not one that was on my radar. I have to tell you it was um, one that I looked at and thought, oh yeah, it's cute. I don't need it. What would I use it for? You know, that happens when you see a catalog and then you start seeing things that people are showcasing. And I decided to oh, borrow my my team members set to create the projects for this week. And I'm so glad I did because I absolutely love it. The, um, I loved it so much that I decided to buy it. It's in my shopping cart ready to go when I place my next order. But I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did. But I cannot tell you how realistic the burgers and fries look. I actually had one of my customers message me last night or commented on my Facebook Live saying, oh my God, I want to go eat burgers and fries after watching your video. So I'm sorry that, you know, if this morning you want to eat some burgers and fries, um, there is like a whole... Uh, time zone difference so maybe it's supper time where you are or maybe you're planning your lunch but maybe you're going to want some burgers and fries so if you're here with me today watching live please let me know like comment and share my video and if you're watching on the replay maybe you found me over on youtube or found me on my blog uh, shout out to my replay warriors make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel because that's when you know i have videos being posted i am posting two a week <laughs> And, oh, and there is my puppy because something just got delivered. And um, and also make sure you subscribe to my newsletters because that is where you will find out what's happening in my studio and what goes, like what is coming up. You are the first ones to know what product of the week I'm featuring in classes and things like that. So make sure you subscribe to that. 
All right, I am going to flip my camera and we are going to get started. I feel a little like off. It's like not a Wednesday night. I'm like trying to figure out, oh my gosh, this is morning. Okay, so let's flip the camera and we will get started. You're going to see my beautiful view. This is what I get to see every morning. I love it. Um, it's nice going live first thing in the morning. You can have your blinds open without the sun blaring in you. All right, so let's just see how everything looks. If you're here and you're watching, let me know. I'm just going to do a quick little shift of everything. I think everything looks good on my part here. Okay, so as I said, we are featuring the Bistro Burger Bundle. You will find this in our annual catalog, and you will find it on page 66. So this Bistro Burger Bundle actually um, comes, you can purchase the stamp set or you can purchase the dies or you can purchase them together, which is the best deal because you get 10% off. Hey, Ashley. Oh, thanks. Glad everything looks great. Thanks for joining me this morning. Um, so it's the best way to buy it is to purchase the bundle because honestly, after you see the stamp set, you're definitely going to want the dies. So that is on page 66. This is our annual catalog. If you are here in Canada and do not have a demonstrator, I would love to help you out. I also want to share with you my new holiday, AK September to December catalog arrived on Friday. I was so excited when I went to the mailbox and seen it. I had to take a picture. Um, I wish I can show you the inside, but per Stampin' Up! policies, I cannot. I cannot show it to you until it goes live on September 4th. Don't worry, I'll be doing a Facebook Live that night, doing a catalog walkthrough, showing you some of my favorite sets and some samples. Um, but if you're here in Canada and you need a copy, let me know. If you are one of my customers and have ordered from me from the past six months, your copy is reserved. My catalogs are en route. And once um, they will be being shipped out towards like late next week, early the following week. So that's that. So I'm excited. It's got a lot of fun products. Okay, let's share with you what we're creating today. So first of all, product of the week. Uh, this is what we are featuring we are featuring the Bistro Burger Bundle, um, and here is the number in case you need it. Um, I'm pairing it with the Country Woods Designer Series paper. Now, if you've been following me for a long time, you know that I've been using this paper a lot. We used it for the Seaside Wishes, we used it for the Country Birdhouse, and now we're using it for the burger set. It is a very versatile paper that you can use for anything. My favorite is the wood grains. I'm, I love that rustic wood grain farm farmhouse look and this paper has that written all over it so that is one I'm also going to pair in country lace but I, t I used more of this so that's why I wanted to feature that and um, then you can head to my online store to place those orders all right so also this week and this is what I'm sharing with you today that if you place an order from yesterday so the 12th to the 18th in my online store using this host code I will send you the ingredients or card supplies to make these four projects, which are what we're going to create today. The only thing is I can't send you stamped images. So if you're gonna to wanna to create these cards exactly the way I have them, you're gonna to wanna to add the burger, Bistro Burger Bundle to your collection. Um, and like I said, you're gonna get the four cards. So minimum $50 order in my online store using this house code. Here's the easiest way, www.stampwithan. Click shop now and start your shopping. All right, so let's bring in what we're showcasing today. Here is the Bistro Burger stamp set. Super cute, look at those. Wait till you see how realistic these, like it amazes me how these concept artists didn't make these stamp sets. Uh, they must have been dreaming about burgers and fries and thought, you know what, let's make a burger set because the fries are so realistic and so is the burger. Um, I definitely need to have burgers and fries this week. It's on my list. Okay, so here are the dies. And as you can see, the dies will cut out the burger. They will cut out the fries and they will cut out the pickle. Plus, there's a whole bunch of other things that you can use. This set is a great masculine set, but don't think of it just as masculine. Think of it as like, hey, you're kind of a big deal. It could be a graduation. It could be like... You know, you wanted to celebrate someone. Definitely birthday, definitely Father's Day, um, masculine cards. It could be for summer projects. If you follow me, you might have kept, catched my Facebook Live last night where I showcased the um, Bistro Burger, but I created a double page scrapbook layout called Summertime Barbecue. Um, that I just uploaded to YouTube and it's on my blog. 
This video will be uploaded and will be on my blog on Thursday, so you will be able to go back and rewatch the the um, the card, the show, so you can see the cards and everything. I'm also going to show you what I'm pairing. So I am using the Country Woods Designer Series paper, and this is like a sampler sheet. I love doing this because I love showcasing what the um, the names of it is, all the coordinating colors, and then the paper. So you can actually get to see what the pattern looks like. They're just two inch squares of all the patterns. I print these off with each new pack of designer series paper I get, and I actually include them in my pack of paper. So when I pull out my pack of paper and I'm ready to create, I use this as a guide to tell me what are my coordinating colors. That is the one thing I love about stamping up, everything coordinates. I can go from this pack of paper and know that I can pick these colors and they're going to coordinate. I also paired in Country Lace Designer Series paper. These two Designer Series paper are part of the Country Woods Suite, which is in our annual catalog, which is beautiful, but very rustic, very farmhouse, love, love, love. And the best thing about it, these two papers are on sale right now during our DS Designer Series paper sale, you say 15%. So I think they come, they're regular 17, I think they're down to like 14, 45 I want to say but I'm not 100 for sure all right so before we get started I wanted to share with you I have gone ahead and stamped and colored all of our images because otherwise we would have been here till midnight um, I sat down on the weekend I stamped created my project stamped out a whole bunch of extra images and literally sat here and listened to music when I'm in here creating I love um calming music when I work in the school in the schools a lot of our teachers will put calming music on that you can find on like YouTube um, like ocean nature the kids just love it and I think find it so soothing so when I'm in here in my room a lot of times I will have that playing so I wanted to show you the colors I used and what I did I started this burger last night during my Facebook live but I will show you um, the fries and then we'll finish the burger and then we will get into assembling our parts as I said it would have taken us a very long time to do all of those oops that's not the one I want I want the fries so all my images are stamped in Memento ink. If you're using our Stampin' Up! blends, you definitely want to be using Memento ink because it is a water-based ink and it's great for um, watercoloring, uh, especially with our blends. So our blends are alcohol markers. So I just stamped that in Memento ink. And I'm just going to put that over there. So for my fries, I am using Wild Wheat Light. So these are our Stampin' Blends. They come in two colors. You get a light and a dark. I am just using the light. Stampin' Up! does, the concept artists do a really great job of telling us where we should, um, I'm just kind of being like quick here where we should add our shadowing these all these little hashtags and marks on our fries just shows that where they should go oops i just went out of the line that's okay because we're just gonna okay so that's wild beef now we're gonna come in with um light daffodil and we're just gonna color i'm not gonna color all of it because you can see what that looks like finished Okay, so there, just to kind of give you a quick one, but the finish look will look like this using um, wild wheat and daffodil. And I've actually seen some people use like Cajun craze and like on the sprinkles to make it look like it was seasoning on fries, which I thought that was a really neat idea too. All right, for my burger, I stamped it in memento ink. The bun, I used crumb cake. So I used crumb cake, light, and dark. So what I did was I did the dark around the edges, and then I brought in my light, and I'm just going to color my burger. It's squeaky today. Now, my ink's probably dry, so it's not going to blend as if it was fresh. But there you go. At least you can see what that bun looks like. So that is crumb cake. 
My pickles were done in old olive, and I did them, so the rim of the pickle, the outside of the pickle, I did in dark old olive, and then the light pick old olive was for the inside of my pickles. I don't know about you, but I love pickles on my burgers, and I can eat, like, multiples. <laughs> my favorite here in Canada we have they're called sandwich pickles so they're like long flat pickles that you can put on a sandwich or a burger yeah I stock up on those when it's my burger so yummy for my tomatoes I did use real red so I did the outside in dark real red and then the light in real the inside of my tomato in real red as I said to you I cannot believe how realistic this burger looks for my cheese, because you know, everyone likes that all American cheese on their burger, I used pumpkin pie and I actually used the light. So for my cheese, I colored these four spots just to make it look like the cheese was melting over on my burger. Um, for the lettuce, I did dark granny apple green for like the little hash marks and stuff. And then I'm gonna come in with my light and color that. So I would suggest if you were going to create with this set is that you figure out what you need and stamp all your images and then cut die cut them so they're ready to go when you're ready to create. If you order this week you will get the card pack so all the supplies that I'm going to show you soon but I can't stamp these images for you so you will have to purchase the burger set or use the cards and use some stamp sets that you have at home. For the patty, I used pecan pie dark and pecan pie light um, just to make it look like it was a yummy burger. We have a really good restaurant here in town. It's called Fat Olive and it's an Italian place, but I'm telling you, they have the best burgers and fries. Oh, I actually had to have to go there before the summer is out. Okay, so there is our burger and our fries completed. So we just did, imagine we did those, just so you can see what that looks like. I use these colors in all of the projects that we are making today. All right, let's get started. So I do have four cards to share with you and then I have another sample. So let's start with our card number one. And as I said, I have gone ahead and colored all these images just to save us some time. I also want to share with you that all of these cards today were designed around a sketch. So when I sit down to create, I usually look for on Pinterest for sketch ideas, but I am loving that Stampin' Up! has included sketches in their annual, cat, annual, cat, annual catalog. So on page 2022, you can find these sketches. So this, the sketches we are using today I am using this one. No, wait. I am using I am using this one. I am using this one. We are using the circles and I think I used this one. I just changed it up. So we are using four sketches from this catalog. So let's get started creating. As I said, this was not I can't get over how realistic the burger looks. Really does make you hungry. Oh, I totally agree with you, Ashley. Like, when I was coloring them, I was like, okay, I really want a burger and fry now. Okay, so we have Misty Moonlight, and I am using that Country Lace. This is Basic Beige, which is a beautiful color. So I was like, I wanted it to look like my burger was sitting on a shelf. Um, I don't know where my other little piece is. Let me see where it is. I might have to go get my paper and do a quick little cut. I'm missing a piece. Hold on. So we're using country wood and I just wanted to have like a little piece to look like it maybe was a countertop and I'm just going to do a quick little cut here. Um, so that is that country lace. Like I said, I use this a lot. Uh, let's hope this is the right size. If not, I'll cut another piece. So let's just make sure that looks good. Yeah. 
All right. So there is that. All right. Now let's go ahead and put our burger down. So we're going to pop up our fries. So we're going to bring in some dimensionals. Like I said, I've colored all these pieces the exact same way that I showed you a few minutes ago so you could see how I colored them. So here is our fries. We're going to bring in that burger. I would love to know, what do you put on your burgers? I am um, ketchup, mustard, no, ketchup, mustard, mayo, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes. And I love um, pickles, lots of pickles. <laughs> this is interesting how everyone likes things different. Uh, I love watching the Food Network and my favorite is Guy Fieri, like diners, drive-ins and guys. And I'm telling you, some of the burgers that they showcase on those, it's just like, oh, I would love to go there. I think when I road trip through the U.S., I will be hitting up some uh, diners and drive-ins on my way. Cannot wait. All right, so I love this. I think this is like one of my favorite little things, a little ketchup container so you can dip your fries. So we're going to put that on our um, cart also. I'm using a little mini Stampin' Dimensional. Okay, so let's go ahead and adhere this down on our card. Now, I wanted to show you, this is a new label. It's in our, new, in our catalog. I just got it in, this, in an order last week. It's called Label with Love. It is in our annual catalog. And the really neat thing about this stamp, this stamp set is you can purchase it as a bundle with a die so you would get three of these label dies or you can get the um, punch. Ashley says she likes cheese, ketchup, mustard, letter, onions, sometimes mayos and pickles. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right. Uh, we're going to use the reading here to a great guy. We're stamping in misty moonlight. Okay, there's that. I know we need that in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna use this punch. This is called Label with Love. You can buy the punch separate or you can buy the, um, now, usually I would center it up, but I'm coming off to the side a little bit and I'll show you why. So that's a great punch. I'm all about the labels. I think they're great. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my paper snips and we're literally just going to cut down and we're going to pop this up. And there is card number one of our Bistro Burger Clower Card Class to go, featuring the Bistro Burger Bundle. Now this card is on my blog. I did post it on um, yesterday, Monday. All right, so there's card number one. Let's bring in card number two. Um, as I said to you, they're all sketches that I use from that annual catalog. I showed you where I found them. I find I don't. I love doing puzzles. Puzzles I love doing. Um, I finished one on the weekend and it was super hard. It was called Smoky Train, and it was all like a train going through the mountains, but it was fall colors. Oh my gosh! It was like I was so glad to see that one done. And um, I think a sketch is like a puzzle, but you're solving it with paper, ink, and um, stamps. All right, so we have three pieces of that Country Woods Designer Series paper. Love, love, love this paper. I love this pattern. I think it's a beautiful pattern. Okay, so there's that. We're just going to go ahead and hear those down. It's very, it re, it's very like rustic, but also reminds me of like nautical, which I also love too. All right, we have our pieces. 
Um, so we're gonna go ahead and adhere our white. But before I do that, I wanna show you a little trick. Let me just find like a scrap piece of paper. So I'm going to bring in my white and I'm going to use, these are our Stampin' Write markers. This is Misty Moonlight. Our new markers have like a bullet end so you can like journal, which is really nice. So they're great for scrapbooking, but they also have this like brush tip, which is good for like splattering ink. So that's what we're gonna show you today. So I'm gonna take my brush tip and I'm gonna take my lid. Now it will ruin your marker lid. So if you don't wanna do this or just maybe you have different sets for different things, but I tend not to use my brush side. I tend to use more of the like writing tool side. So we're gonna take that and we're just going to flick. And as you can see, I'm literally just taking the tip and pulling it along my um, paper. And when it does that, it creates those like little splatter looks. Like you have taking a paintbrush and splattered against your wall. We are going to use the greeting, time to celebrate. And we're gonna stamp that in misty moonlight. After I was done creating these cards, I absolutely fell in love with them. I need to move this closer so I can see. I feel like I haven't created, oh, I'm a little on the angle. I feel like I haven't created masculine cards in a long time, so I was super, super excited about them. I'm on an angle, but that's okay. It's what makes our card beautiful. And once again, I forgot my little um, piece here. So let me just cut another little wood plank piece. That should be the, oh, a little bigger. Ah, I cut it too short. That's the size we want. Yes, okay. I'll just put those over here. Okay, so once again, bring in such a fun technique. Yes, I love that technique, Ashley. I use it quite a bit, but you can also do it with your Stampin' Blends. Just know that they will ruin your tips. So that's why I tend to, if I'm doing it, I make sure I have ones that I use just for that and ones for that. So let's go ahead and put our fries down. We colored it the way we did. We're gonna go ahead and add in our burger. Um, so here's a tip when I hear of like this burger and it's going to go on top of my fries. I don't put the dimensionals on that side because I don't want it to be, I want it to lay flat. So there is my burger. Once again, oh, where did my white piece go? Ay, 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 that's okay. I have extra pieces. So this is what I do. I cut out all these extra pieces and I leave them in our clear envelopes so that I can find, hopefully I have another little container. Hmm, where do you think my little container went? A fries. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do a quick cut because I don't know where it went. I'm sure I had it. Maybe it's under my card. Oh, there it is, see? I knew I had it. It was just laying somewhere else. We're just gonna pop that down with a glue dot. It's amazing when you do Facebook lies how like I'm a very like tidier like stamper. I like things tidy on my desk. <laughs> but when you do a Facebook live and you're like just kind of like putting everything everywhere, it tends to get a little messy. <laughs> are you a I would love to know, are you a messy stamper? Do you tidy as you go or do you just create a mess and tidy later? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna put that on top of there, just like that. And then we're gonna pop this up here. So let's bring in our dimensionals. Here is a tip when you're using our dimensionals, so our dimensionals come like this, right? Don't, so many people will just use the little hexagons and throw these out. Don't throw them out. You've got so much good um, adhesive here on these pieces, which are right here. All right, now. We are going to quickly do it. I hear that down like that. There's our burger. I wanted to stamp some fries on the inside because I didn't. I just thought that would be super cute. 
A lot of times I don't do the inside of my cards because I sell my cards at work and a lot of my coworkers write, like to write their own little messages, but I couldn't resist adding the fries. I just thought they looked so cute. So let's quickly color them. And we're just gonna, so wild wheat, just coloring in those little hash. And just kind of doing it quickly here. Okay, and we're gonna come in with our daffodil and color those fries. When you eat fries, what kind of fries do you like to dip them in? Ketchup. I know down in the U.S. Um, I'm not sure if it's any other where, but I do know a lot of my U.S. friends do this. They do like mayonnaise. They dip their fries into mayonnaise. Or like um, a big, like a burger sauce. Um, I've even seen like ranch. I've seen, there's so many ways you can eat fries. I love ketchup. And I love fries that are crunchy on the outside but soft in the middle. And my favorite, I love putting vinegar on it. Yeah, it's so good. So fries are definitely, see, now I want fries and burgers. I have to go get one this week. All right, so there is the inside of our card. There is the outside showcasing a second card of our Bistro Burger set. What do you guys think? Super cute. Can't leave that there. Okay, so that's card number two. Card number three, we're going to bring in this one another sketch. Um, this one is showcasing circles. So. If you know me and follow me, you know I'm a huge fan of the stylish shape dies, which are right here. So you can see those. So I just used our die cutting machine and cut these out just to, you know, help with time and everything. So I've done two circles. Our colors are Misty Moonlight, Smoky Slate, and um, uh, Mist White. I've gone ahead and colored that pickle. So I used Old Olive Light and dark. I've gone ahead and colored that burger for us and I've already cut out a knife. So in this die set you get a knife. So the knife is cut from sil silver foil and the wood handle is cut from country lace. Um, oh yes, ketchup. Um, no, so Ashley says she tidies as she goes so I don't lose things. Yes. And she, she says she likes ketchup, barbecue sauce, and gravy. Oh, I forgot about gravy. I do like gravy too. So yummy. Okay. We're going to save that. So we're going to do the nether inside. So here we are using that basic beige, that country lace paper again. I do like ketchup. I do like gravy. You're right. But I like to dip my fries into my gravy. I don't like my gravy smothered on my fries because I feel like they get too soggy. All right. So let's... um. Go ahead and adhere down. So we're going to actually I'm gonna put this pop this up because this layer can go up. Uh, so let's put this down. All right. So, so this will go on to our base. Just looks like this. We're gonna go ahead and put that stylish shape down. So we're using a smoky slate. It's gonna go like that. And we're gonna go ahead and put our white down. We're just kind of offsetting them like this. We are going to stamp our greeting to a great guy. Oops, in Misty Moonlight again. So let's bring that in. And I'm gonna show you a fun trick with the burger. So when I stamp my greeting, I want to stamp it more to the right side of my banner because we are going to cut some of that banner off. I didn't want it to be super long. I just wanted it to be just enough that it shows on my project. We're going to put a little bit of adhesive uh, on the back and we're going to bring in linen thread. Linen thread should be a staple in your craft room. 
Um, it actually, I have a, I have a bookshelf, um, and it has all my stamps and stuff on it. And I actually have a jar that has all my twine. But this linen thread actually sits in my desk because I use it so much. It's like this is one of those staples. It's like dimensionals. You just have to have it in your room. All right. So we have that. So we're going to hear that in a minute. So let's do our burger first. Let's bring in. This is our silicone sheet. I've been really using this silicone sheet a lot more, especially when I'm using this glass mat. Our glass mat is available in our online store under online exclusive. I love it. Um, since I got it in the beginning of July, I have not used grid paper whatsoever. I only stamp on my um, on my glass mat. I love how it stamps the images. It's really nice. Now I do find like if you're doing like a solid image that's a big one, you still might need that paper piercing mat, but I haven't really used it. So if you don't have a silicone sheet, you might want to use it. It's great for look. See, I have glue on it. I wouldn't have got it on, I would have got it on my glass mat and that's not what we wanted. Okay, so when you cut out this burger, it actually creates like this little slit. Can you see like, maybe I'll just go like this so you guys can see it. See how it creates that like little spot for you to put something in. We're going to create a little technique on our burger. Um, sometimes you know when you go to a burger place and they bring you out your burger and they have like a wooden skew and it has stuff in it. Well, we're gonna stick up. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking my pickle and I'm just literally taking my paper snips and I'm just slicing like a little slot in the middle. I'm going to take my knife and we're going to put our knife through our pickle just like that. Then we're going to take the burger and we're going to put our knife through the burger so that it looks like the pickle and the knife are through our burger. And then what I would do is I would just put a little bit of like a glue dot just to hold that knife in place in the back of our burger. All right, so there is our burger. So let's go ahead and adhere some dimensionals to that. If you're just joining me, hello, welcome to our crafty sessions. I usually go live on Wednesday night, but this week I am busy on Wednesday night and I did not want to miss, so I thought, why not do it in the morning? I kind of like doing videos in the morning, it's fun. But I also like my nighttime, it's a good nighttime routine. So we're using the Bistro Burgers. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook or maybe you're just joining me, make sure you follow me. I go live on Mondays and Wednesdays um, and I bring you um, projects designed around a product of the week. And our product of the week this week is the Bistro Burgers. Okay, so let's bring back in that. So what I like to do is I like to put uh, dimensionals down that just holds that linen thread in place. And we're going to put it right down here. It's just gonna overlap my burger a little bit. Now, we are going to adhere our white. You could stamp the inside if you wanted. Uh, if you could put a burger or a pickle or whatever you wanted. Um, and there you go. There is our card for our third card featuring the Bistro Burger. Isn't that cute? I like that sketch. I think it's a fun sketch. That would be fun, I think, for Christmas, too. You could easily switch it up. I'm excited that in our new September to December catalog, Stampin' Up! continued with the um, sketches, and they actually did some tag ones, which I thought was super fun. All right, let's see here. Our last card. So you can see the color scheme I went with is Misty Moonlight, Basic White, and Smoky Slate. And then I pulled in those patterns from the um, Country Lace and the uh, uh, Country Woods Designer Series paper. Okay, so we have, this is for our inside, so let's just, I'll just stick that right there for now. All right, so here is this pattern. I really like this one. Reminds me like of a rustic picnic table or like a charcuterie board. Um, and there's the other side we've been using. I think this is one of my favorite patterns, but we're gonna use the white side. 
I was thinking when I was designing this card that it was sitting maybe on a counter. This could be like a backsplash. Um, and we're going to put a darker. So I was thinking, ooh, looks like a backsplash. This is like a, a shelf on in your counter. That's one of my other favorite shows to watch is I love the diner. Like I love Food Network, but I also like watching um, HTV, like the home renovation shows and all that. It always amazes me what they do. Okay, so we're not putting this card in the middle. We're going to put it off to the side a little bit. And I just want to make sure coming down a little bit. So just like that, I have gone ahead and created our banners already. These are from this little set. These are super cute. So if you have not seen these, you're definitely going to want to add them. They're called the Happy Little Thing Dies. And they look like this. And they are part of a happy, I think it's called Happy Little Things Bundle. And you you can find these in our online exclusives. But great little, um, little banners for, you know, things you want to cut. All right, so we're going to stamp our greeting, which is time to celebrate. I really just focused on these two greetings, but you can definitely use the other greetings that are in this set. Um, just when I was designing. Okay, now I have to bring this closer so because it is so super tiny. And hope that I get it right. Oh, I did. Look at that. <laughs> so that's time to celebrate. And I think this greeting you could use for any birthday cards. It doesn't just have to be with this birthday set. That's the neat thing about um, stamps. You can mix and match. And I like showcasing that. So this gives you more ways to um, use them. All right. So let's just let that dry for a minute. We're going to bring back in that silicone mat. And once again, I have a burger and I have our knife. So let's go ahead and put our knife together. Sometimes when I watch the um, diners and drive-ins, I think, oh my gosh, how can they get that burger in there? Like, how can they eat it? Like the sauce is running down their arms and it's so juicy. And when you go to Fat Olive, their burger is big. I always say, okay, let's get the arms out. <laughs> get ready to eat it. All right. So once again, just taking that pickle, using my paper snips to create like a little slit. Hopefully my knife is nice and dry. We're gonna slide my knife in. And then we're going to once again adhere it. Let's just show you that right here, right there. We're going to put it like that. So there is our burger. And once again, we'll adhere that down. As I said, I will upload this video later today. It will be on scheduled on my blog for Thursday. Um, so you will be able to re-watch it. If you place an order in my online store this week using this house code, I'm going to send you all the supplies to make these cards. The only thing I can't do is I can't stamp the images per Stampin' Up! policy. And trust me, you really would want this set. It's super cute. Alright, let's bring back our burger and our card. off these little adhesives. My puppy is fast asleep at the front door. Oh, it's going to come down just a little bit high. All right, so now we're going to adhere the um, banners. We're going to use our mini dimensionals because they're just the right size. I never used to have these. I was thinking, why would you want mini dimensionals? The big ones are fine. You can cut them. Oh, no, no, no. You definitely want mini dimensionals. Make sure to add that to your shopping list. That should also be a staple in your room. All right. We are going to put that right there. Now, for this one, I want my banner to sit up top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adhere the dimensionals above so that they are there to put hold my label. I don't really want them too far down because I want them to sit flat on that smoky slate banner, not so high up on the other one. Now the question is, did I get them lined up perfect? Without seeing, I, oh, I did. Let's just fix this. Well, let's just make that a little more center. 
All right, and there is our last card featuring the Bistro Burger Bundle. What did you guys think? Did you love these cards? I just think they're so fun. I can't wait to give them out to like family and friends. All right, let's bring them in. So this was card number one. This was card number two, three, and four. Oh, we forgot to put our inside in. Let's go ahead and do that. I see, I see the white sitting there. Once again, you could stamp the inside, like put some burgers or fries, or not a burger, but you could put fries or um, a pickle inside. Uh, Katie says she loves them. Thanks, Katie. All right, so there are the four cards we made today in our um, Bistro Burger Card Class to Go. I love, love, love these cards. Like I said, I haven't created masculine cards in a while, and sometimes masculine cards are hard to create, but I'm very happy with the design. I think picking the same colors and the same designer series paper and using sketches really brought this class to life. If you want to make these cards at home and you don't want to miss out, make sure you head to my online store and I will send you all the supplies to make those cards. The only thing I won't include is the stamped images. So you will need the Bistro Burger Bundle um, for your uh, order. Or maybe you already have it and that's okay too. Uh, like I said, it wasn't one that was on my radar, but after seeing some samples and I thought, oh, you know, I really want to do like a summery time uh, product of the week. And I was like, let's do this one. So I'm glad that I was able to borrow it. But like I said, it's now in my shopping cart ready to go. But I do have, so just a, sh a couple little tips. Go ahead and stamp those whole bunch of images and then put them into a little like reusable bag. So I just used our clear envelopes. And then you have these to create for the next time. Um, so for the same thing, like I'll go ahead and die cut these out and put them in my bag so that I have them. So if I want to create like a quick birthday card, I have those pieces already stamped. I don't have to go redo them. I do want to show you another card. Um, this is will be on my blog tomorrow. So when I sit down to create with a product, I always like look, first I go to the annual catalog or the catalog to see what the concept artist did. And then from there, I usually go search Pinterest and see what some of my demonstrator friends did over there. And then sometimes when I'm scrolling like Facebook or Instagram at night and I see a card layout I like, I will save it. But as I was searching Pinterest, I saw this idea from my friend Diana Gibbs of using um, to create a basket. So here is my card creating a basket. So I know in some restaurants when you go get um, a burger and fries, your fries come out in a cute little basket or bowl. And I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I know I have to make one like that. So what did I use to create that basket? I used the Attention Shopper dies. And we did a series back in June, no, July, using the Attention Shopper bundle, showing you different ways of using it. But you're going to use this die to create the basket. I used silver foil and then I used the top of the knife to for my handle for my basket. And once again, just pulled in those dies from the Bistro Burger and the Country Woods Designer Series paper. So just another sample showing you how to create a fun card. Like that's a fun card. Like who wouldn't want to give that card? Maybe you're taking your friend out for their birthday and you're going to a burger place. You could totally give them this card. Or it could be a great gift card to give a gift certificate, a gift card to go to their favorite burger place. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love, loved spending time with you on a Tuesday morning. It was a nice way to start my day. I will upload this video. It will be on YouTube and on my blog. You will find it. Um, YouTube will be up later, but it will. all the blog details will be posted on Thursday. I hope, um, I would love to hear your feedback. I'd love to know what you think of these, the Bistro Burger. Which one is your favorite card? I always ask my in-class person, persons, my in-class people, customers, my friends. I always say, which one is your favorite card? 
And you know, I always think, oh, I love that card. They're going to pick that one. And they always pick one that is different, which I think is so fun. So I would love to know which one of these is your favorite. One, two, three, or four, or even five. We'll put five in there just so you see. Um, and yeah, so if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. If you want this card pack, so not including this one, just these, head over to my store, place an order before Sunday at midnight, and I will prep that pack and send it out to you. Now, those packs will go out a little later. Um, I'm actually uh, have some fun things happening in the next week, and I'll be a little busy, so I definitely will prep them when I'm uh, able to do that. Actually, says the first card and the fourth, so she likes this one and this one. And the one with the fry basket. Yes, LOL. Super cute, eh? Um, all right, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. I hope you have a fabulous Tuesday, a fabulous week. And I will see you guys next Monday night. Um, and I will let you know, usually I go live at 7 on Monday nights. It might be a little later, and I will definitely let you know on Monday that time frame. All right, everyone, have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me, and we'll see you on our next Crafty Session video. Bye, everyone.